Hey, good morning guys. So today we are in Quebec City. We came to attend an RV show. So let's get to it. Hi, this is Dory and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to discover the most beautiful locations. And our goal is to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So thanks for following and welcome to our channel. Oh my god, guys! This is so cute! Look at how cute that is! It's called the Tiger Moth. Taxa Outdoors Tiger Moth Overland, a 2022 for 45000 Really small price considering. And uh, it's 13 feet. So you have a pop-up tent up here, right? It could probably be towed by almost anything. It looks like it's super, 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 super light. 13 feet long. Doesn't say the... Oh yeah, so the weight is right there. It's about 1,500 pounds. That's great. Okay, so I'm not really sure... If this, if they have a, if this is a propane RV or not, but it looks like there's some nice storage there, so that's great. You have a spare tire here. It's kind of like standard house air conditioner, window air conditioner, so that's great to have. This is your shore power, solar plug, if you want to have like an exterior uh, solar panel. These tires are definitely off-roading tires. And there's quite a bit of clearance underneath, so really ideal for overlanding. And another little compartment. I got to be honest, I'm not sure what this is for, but it's cool to have those options there, right? To have that kind of storage. Oh, so this is your ladder to get up to the tent and we can't climb because of liability issues so we're just going to take a quick peek so that you can see up there right and it's tool brand which we all know is really great quality so you have an exterior tank here to carry extra fuel with you or water, whatever it is. No, this is for water, so that's extra water. You have this nice pull-out, I guess it's locked in place right now, but it's this pull-out kitchen drawer. This has lots of compartments in it. Now, I don't actually know how to set up this top part. Um, I'm sure there's a way to do it. I don't really know. Let me put that back. It's my first time touring this RV, so here we have, it looks like a little sink. It's a nice compartment cover that also doubles as a cutting board. Yeah, it's a little sink. So you have like a bit of a wash basin here. I'm not really sure how that drains out, but uh, you have your water here, your wash basin here. Another little compartment there. Um, yeah, the stairs are a little bit high, so those people with reduced mobility might have a bit of a hard time climbing up into here. It's very, very high, even for me. Um, not that I'm the most athletic person in the world, just saying. I've climbed a lot of places and that's, that's pretty high. So this comes out for sure, and then you have your bed over here. It looks like... Yeah, so this comes out, so this for sure is going to fit two people. It looks like it's, um, looks pretty big. It looks like a double, at least a double size bed. Maybe a queen. You have your smoke detector over here. You have a little roof vent there. 
a window there so that gives you some air circulation and it has a screen as well you can see that that pulls up and your fuse box is right there your power cutoff is there it tells you the voltage of the batteries and you have some usb plugs and some 110 volt i'm gonna get in here and tell you <laughs> if this is doable ouch <laughs> I already clocked myself in the head. That didn't take very long, did it? Okay, so so if you're on the shorter side, you're going to be sitting here. So if your partner is tall, he's going to be sitting over here. It's, it's quite, ouch, it's quite low. But it's doable. I mean, for weekend trips, it's great. If you want to go fishing, you want to go, I don't know, hunting, uh, you want to go in the bush, it, it gives you a bit of a base camp. There's another window right there. So that's a great weekender and uh, it's something that could easily be towed by a multitude of vehicles, definitely an SUV, it's super, super light. This one is the same manufacturer, it's Taxa Outdoors, and this one is called the Mantis. It's a 2022, so 71,400, way heavier though, 3,000 pounds and 19 feet. It's the same type of off-roading, but what I like about this one is that it has that pop-up roof because, you know, we've grown really accustomed to the tall ceilings and uh, yeah, it's really, it feels really spacious in here with this pop-up. So here you have a little shower and toilet, kind of like a wet half bath. I gotta call it a half bath because it really is a half bath. And here it's a bit of a lounging area, but it's cozy and I didn't whack my head when I was trying to sit down. So that, that gets bonus points. <laughs> Um, so it looks like there's a little bit of a command center here. You have 12 volt uh, cigarette style lighter and USB charging station. And your light switches are here. Fire extinguisher. A little worktop. This is kind of interesting. Though I'm not sure why you would charge $71,000 to have these milk crates as storage. I guess it kind of goes with this industrial look that they're going for, but I don't, I don't really enjoy this. I'll be honest, not for, not for what they're charging for the RV. So this is a garbage bin. Um, not really sure what this platform is for. I'm guessing storage. And then on this side you have uh, you have more of these milk crate style bins, which again I don't like that. So here you have the CO2 alarm. Here you have a bit of a power station, 110 volt outlet. You have your power shut off, your voltage meter for the battery, and you have it looks like there's a furnace here. So you have some furnace heat that's going to come out. This is your fuse box. A cute compact little sink here. And what's handy is that, you know, if you're going to use the bathroom, you could, this sink doubles as your bathroom sink. Two burner stove. A nice window unit air conditioner. It's nice to have the option of having air conditioning. Once again, you have these milk crate storage bins over here and they're held in with these bungee cords. And this is a little eating area, a pedestal table, and this converts into a bed. And I'm guessing also that little sofa over there converts into a bed. Now, my question, normally when you have these pop-up campers, they have a platform to, to have another bed, but still, it's interesting. Here's your smoke detector, which is always good to have. It's nice to have some safety features. Yeah, so let's take a look at the exterior of the RV. It is kind of nice to have this Bach garage door style door that opens up. 
so you can get an, your nice view, your unobstructed view, and a little bit of airflow when you're having dinner. So if you're backed up onto, say, a waterfall or a mountain or the ocean, you just have that incredible view. And here you have a little bit of storage right there. Some nice windows. external solar panel you could plug that in here this is your shore power your water inlet your hot water um, heater is there this is your outdoor shower and that's the back of your cassette toilet so all you need for a weekend of adventure right there so there is a gray water tank down there and this is your tank drain for your gray water but to get to your black water, that's your door for the cassette toilet right there.